Hey class, my name is Josh Kirby, and I chose to analyze Robert Redford as an actor in Jeremiah Johnson for my oral presentation. Jeremiah Johnson was directed by Sidney Pollock and released in 1972. I'm also going to compare and contrast Jeremiah Johnson with The Yakuza, which was another film directed by Pollock two years later in 1974. In my opinion, Redford was the perfect actor to play this role because it's not too far from his real life. In an interview, he once said, quote, I went to Sidney Pollock and I said, Sidney, I live in the mountains and I would like to make a film about a person that had to exist in the mountains and survive in the mountains. So we had this script by John Milius and we decided to take it on, end quote. It was his idea to make this film and he wanted it to be similar to his real life. They, Redford lived in Utah. That's actually where Sundance, Sundance Film Festivals had every, held every year. And some of the scenes were actually filmed almost basically in his backyard. Uh, originally, it was not going to be shot in Utah. Warner Brothers actually paid Redford. They said so much to be in the film that they thought it had to be filmed in their back lot due to budget constraints. But Redford and Pollock were able to convince them that they could afford to film it in Utah. In an interview with Vanity Fair, Redford once said that the producers told him they didn't think they could sell him as the mountain man with the beard and traps and all. In my opinion, Redford did an amazing job in this role, and I think they were wrong uh, that he wasn't the right person to play the role. He looked like a real mountain man in the film with the beard and the personality. He, he definitely portrayed a rugged and tough personality, like nothing bothered him, and he wasn't emotionally attached to anything. It, in the film, he appeared like he would do whatever it took to survive. He was also very matter-of-fact in the film, kind of goes along. He wasn't emotionally attached to anything. Uh, for example, when he found Del Gu buried in the sand, he was very calm and he kind of acted almost as though nothing was out of the ordinary, even though it was a really strange situation. That's kind of how I think a real person who lived in the wilderness for years would be. I don't think anything would really surprise them. So yeah, I thought he did a great job in that. Uh, in the film, Redford had to portray an enraged man who was determined to avenge the death of his family, and he played the role really well. Uh, Redford is certainly no killer in real life. He's actually well known for helping others and being an outspoken environmentalist. But he also has not always been an upstanding citizen. Redford admits that he was a poor student and he's also had a few minor run-ins with the law for stealing hubcaps and trespassing. So he's always had a little bit of a rebellious side and he got to let that out a little bit while playing Jeremiah Johnson. Despite the struggles and people doubting him, Robert Redford played a great mountain man. Redford deservedly received rave reviews from critics and viewers for his performance. Redford and Sidney Pollock went on to create six more films together. So comparing this film with The Yakuza, which is another film directed by Pollock, there are many similarities. Although the plots are nothing alike, The Yakuza is an American kung fu movie, the protagonists are very similar. Harry Kilmer is the main character in The Yakuza. Like Jeremiah Johnson, he's a military veteran and has kind of that no-nonsense personality. He did not share Jeremiah Johnson's lack of emotion, though. Jeremiah Johnson almost never seemed happy, and he was never sad until his family got killed. Uh, Harry Kilmer never wanted to see anyone get killed. He did have an emotion, emotional side, I guess. Uh, even when his enemies got killed, he looked disturbed, and he wasn't comfortable with it. So they differ in that respect. The two storylines of the films are also very similar. The Yakuza is actually a Japanese gang. It's almost like a mafia-type organization in Japan. And in the film, they're similar to the Crow Native Americans in Jeremiah Johnson. The Crow go and kill Jeremiah Johnson's whole family, and the Yakuza actually kill Harry Kilmer's daughter. Uh, and they also try to kill his friend. And Ken, who's another character in the Yakuza, very similar to Jeremiah Johnson, he actually goes and starts killing all the members of the Yakuza, kind of like Jer just like Jeremiah Johnson did with the members of the Crow. Uh, Ken actually ends up killing their leader, which saves his own life. Uh, one major difference between the two films is that there's a love story aspect to the Yakuza. When Harry Kilmer goes back to Japan after many years, he's reunited with the woman he loves. Throughout the film, he's trying to save her and her daughter. Uh, Johnson ends up caring for his wife after some time passes, but I certainly wouldn't call it a love story, since his wife was kind of forced upon him and he didn't really want her around in the first place. So at first glance, the two films don't seem like they'd be anything alike. One is the story of a mountain man living in the wilderness on his own, and the other is a kung fu movie. However, after some examination, the two films are actually very similar. Thank you.